<laughs> yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? It is your boy No Show here, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Listen, I have some horror videos for y'all today, bro. Like, two of the most random horror animated videos on the internet, bro. Like, very random. Like, I, 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 it's just two random videos, but, anyways, listen. I decided since it's October, why not react to some horror videos? It's spooky, it's about to be Halloween soon, so why not react to some scariness? So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into these horror reactions. Okay, so first up on this list, we got a video called Little Caesars Horror Stories by MJV Animations. Now listen, I've seen some of their work before in the past, I have high expectations for them, okay? So, without further ado, let's dive into the scariness. With my least favorite customer. You could smell him come in before you saw him. Nearly seven feet tall and at least 400 pounds. God damn! The guy had a distinct smell. Something like cinnamon and burning hair. I didn't dislike the man because of his appearance or odor, though. No. Oh, no, nah, bro. You seven foot, 400 pounds. You got a stench on you that can be smelled from a mile away. And you have flies flying around you? Stop it, bro. I. That's an instant. If I see him, I'm clocking out. There's no way I'm feeding this man. Whenever the customer, Brad, came in because he ate his pizza like he was going to war. Damn. Brad would settle his bulk into a corner table, then order our largest deep dish pizza to start. What chair that is supporting your weight? He liked to work his way through our hot and ready menu. Ugh. If a particular item caught his attention that day, he ordered double. His mid-meal break was a triple order of crazy bread, an order of wings, and all of this was washed down with liters of Diet Pepsi. The way Brad ate terrified children and ran off other customers. He hit the pizza harder than the allies when they stormed Normandy Beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I listen, I would love to know who's narrating this. Like, who's doing this? Because they're they're cracking jokes at this point, bro. They they do not have to go this hard in on this man, bro. But but I'm loving it though. But he's not lying. This this man got food flying everywhere out of his mouth. That's disgusting. I wouldn't even eat there no more if I seen this. Oh my God. Chunks of crust went flying in every direction when Brad chewed. It was like someone set off a hand grenade inside of a lasagna. His shirt, cheeks, and table were splattered each session before he was halfway done. Anyone sitting within a dozen feet of Brad was in danger of being struck by debris. And the sounds he made when he ate. Is that hair in his teeth? Stop it! And the sounds he Yuck, made. bro! And I still have nightmares about the slurping, chomping, gurgling, moaning sounds. Oh, no, bro, I'm Suffice quitting. To say, no one ever wanted to wait on Brad when he visited our Little Caesars. So, as the manager, that duty usually fell on to me. We tolerated Brad scaring away our other customers because there really wasn't a legal reason to ban him. That is, until one morning in January, when Brad waddled into the restaurant holding a small cooler, took his usual seat in the corner, and ordered every cheese pizza that we had in the kitchen. Bro, look Brad, at the- I think we've got about 80 pizzas cooling back there, I told him. How many do you actually want? 80 is a good start, but you'll need to keep them coming. I have an appetite today. Did this man just say 80 is a good start? 80 is a death sentence, sir. 80 pizzas? Is you serious? Oh, hell no. Nah. What's in the cooler? Brad grinned. Oh! Awful. Just some toppings I brought from home. We don't really allow that. 
Do I need to register a complaint with Little Caesar's main offices again? I sighed. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. What do Just they call Mayo Karen? Brad lifted his cooler onto the table and started poking around inside while I walked back to the kitchen to give them his order. When I returned with Brad's Diet Pepsi and first pizza, I nearly gagged when the smell from his cooler hit me. Inside of the box were dozens of plastic baggies arranged around a few ice packs. The baggies were smeared with a thick pinkish fluid and contained gray chunks of what I had to assume was meat. Whatever it was reeked like it was spoiled. You can't eat that, I said, setting Brad's order on his table. The food in your cooler has gone bad. Brad just smiled and popped one of the gray blobs into his mouth. Oh! Fluid from his chin. I retreated before my stomach betrayed me. The rest of the staff I, 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 I would have quit ASAP. I would have quit. There's no way I'm working. This is why I do not work fast food, bruh. There, or just food in general, bruh. There's people like this somewhere, bruh. The food popped like a pimp. In the kitchen as well as we could. Every few minutes, I would run another pizza out like I was charging across a battlefield dodging cannon fire. Brad's rotten toppings and wood chipper eating style scared away most of the customers. Yeah, don't even. <laughs> One brave family tried to stick it out, sitting at the opposite end of the room. But Brad ended up choking on a slice of pizza, then coughing it up. The wad of dough and phlegm shot all over the tables and splattered the family. Brad started laughing, spraying more food. That was too much. Oh, man, I hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Man, let some food fly on me, man. We fighting in there, bro. We are fighting. We are in there boxing. I will beat his ass with a bonnet on. Stop it, man. This is crazy. With a brass this table as the family left in disgust. That's it. You're banned from Little Caesars. Thank you. I shouted. Brad just continued to munch. But I haven't finished... I don't Finish care. It then. Eat as much as you want and more. But after you leave today, you're banned permanently. Thank you. Brad shrugged and thrust his empty glass at me. Damn. Refill. The big man continued to eat for hours. I'd, ne I'd never seen him tear through pizza, wings, and crazy bread like he did that day. At one point, he slouched over, and I thought he was finally done. But then he popped up and beckoned me over with one swollen hand. I didn't know how Brad could possibly keep eating. The buttons had popped from his shirt and his belly spilled over his legs. I want to try some of my toppings warm, he said. Oh, hell he no. It's one of the disgusting baggies. Toss those in the microwave for me. Man, hell no. Absolutely not. Thank you. you. I promise I'll leave here in the next hour. No, go now. Over my nose and tried to defend against the stench and gingerly picked up the baggie with a napkin. I hurried back to the kitchen, poured out the vile gunk into a bowl and put it in the microwave. The odor was overwhelming and I knew we'd need to air out the kitchen for days to get rid of it. I immediately regretted listening to Brad's request. Maybe it was time to call the cops and have him tossed out. Yeah, you should have done that a long time ago. Cause like. I heard him yell from the dining room. Stack them high. And I need a refill. Since I was watching the microwave, my assistant manager Bianca was the one who had to run out the next tower of pizzas and a two liter. The microwave beeped, and I extracted the foul contents. When the steam cleared, I nearly dropped the bowl. Not because it was hot, but because outside of the little baggies, I could finally get a clear look at the toppings Brad had brought from home. Most were unrecognizable lumps of pink brown, but one object was unmistakably, undeniably, the bottom half of a human ear. I placed the bowl on the counter. My face... Oh, hell no. 
Oh, hell no. I am, I, first off, I wouldn't even made it this far. I would have been left before he even stepped foot in the door. Secondly, even if I did make it this far, I would have been called the cops. They're bullshit. I would have been called the cops. Third off, if I seen that, bro, I'm not finna get eaten. No, sir. No, sir. This man, this man is a, a killer. killer. He's a He's murderer. A murderer. He's a He's fiend. A no. With shock. No. Before I could decide how to react. There was a shriek from the dining room. I made it I'm to the door there. just as Bianca came to running inside, clutching her arm. At first, I thought... Oh! Hand. There was so much red. Then, I realized all of her fingers on her left hand... Oh! Her index and thumb Yo! And nothing but raw stumps. He bit me! Bianca screamed. He bit you! <laughs> Shawty! He ate you! That wasn't a bite! He just had a meal! Oh my gosh! She stabs for him and that monster snapped. I heard the sound of falling tables and a loud crash. Not one part of me wanted to go look, but I was the manager. The staff at Little Caesars were counting on me. Wrap Bianca's hand in a towel. Is this supposed to be some black guy? What poorly animated drawing it never mind. Just let's just leave this alone. What? I instructed it ain't, it ain't none of my You, business. call 911, I said to another. We need an ambulance and the police. I took a breath and walked out into the dining room to find Brad on the floor. He'd fallen from his chair and knocked the contents of his table everywhere. He had half of a pizza in his mouth, his jaws trembling as he chewed, and he was crawling towards another pile of slices. What did you do? I whispered. What is wrong with you? Brad spit out the pizza long enough to laugh. <laughs> she wouldn't have gotten so close to my food. You don't mess with a man's food. My food. Where are my toppings? What are they? Friends and family. I've been saving them up for a while. For something special. Brad Army crawled on his elbows. Friends and family. Gut along. You munching down on friends and family. Tiles. Who wants to he be friends with you? My pile of pizza. Let alone family. It. His whole body looks swollen as a blood drunk tick. The police are on their way, Brad. He nodded and started eating faster. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The man shoveled food into his jaw, swallowing without chewing. I couldn't help but stare. Once all the pizza was gone, Brad laid on his belly, licking his fingers. More, he demanded. No. More. For someone that big, Brad crawled fast. He came at me, pulling his book along with his bloody fingers. Hit him with a table! Tipping over a table and crashing to the Oh floor. my then, gosh! My foot, Brad had a hand wrapped around my ankle. He dragged me towards him and I reacted on reflex. Get the yeah. kitchen knife! The shoe connected a crack and Brad jerked away. His nose bent at an un- There we go! Damn! Some more, he growled, leaning on a table to stand up. But the table couldn't take his weight. The stand cracked when he was halfway standing, and Brad slammed into the floor, gut first. Nobody's legs supposed to bend like that. He's he. He got of torn in half. He he's seven foot four hundred. He his belly his belly was already to to his knees. He definitely split in half right there. Them nets gone. Whatever whatever was down there is gone. There was a horrible ripping sound, and I saw Brad's eyes go blank. He tried to rise again, but something was wrong. 
When he got to his hands and knees, it became clear that his body had finally burst from the pressure and the force of the fall. Told you! His stomach had a tear right around the belly button. Purple intestines and undigested pizza all spilled out into a wet pile on the floor. So hungry, Brad whispered before collapsing. They had to bring in a professional disaster cleanup crew to dispose of the body and mop up the mess. We had to close the restaurant for 48 hours. To this day... Close it down forever! Ever! I'm talking about, oh, reopening that? Last meal remains the second or third worst shift I've ever had managing at Little Caesars. That's the third worst shift? You do not need to be working there no more, sir. That's the third worst? Oh my gosh. You need you need to be in therapy. Bad. This next video is by Meat Canyon. It is called Pumpkin Spice White Woman Season. Now, if you don't know Meat Canyon, bruh, they are very, very weird. Like they are just beyond, they are beyond the normal. But I, honestly, when it's fall time, Starbucks, white women, pumpkins, yeah. <laughs> no race, no race, no race. No. Welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Um, yeah. Is pumpkin spice back on the menu? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. Okay, Yuri. I'll take a coffee. We all... I am... <laughs> we all know somebody that looks exactly like this. Or at least dresses like this, bro. We've all ran into that one person. Teacher, girl at school, girl and just average... Just at target somewhere somewhere we've we've seen a person like this bro that just let's be real here let's be real because i mean my god this is the most basic fit some of that yummy pumpkin cream cold foam mm -hmm. okay that will be 625 at the window okay thank you Hello, here's your mentioned. coffee. The person in front of you paid for your order, so you're all set. Wow, really? That's so kind of them. So many kind souls in the universe. I'm just so happy the pumpkin spice is back. Yeah, no, it's it's certainly popular. Okay, well, thank you. Yep, thanks. Bye. All right, have a great day. <laughs> Welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Hello, can I get two iced chai lattes with the pumpkin cream cold foam extra pumpkin? Sure. The total is twelve fifty at the first window. Oh, hello again. <laughs> gotta remember this is youtube i gotta remember this is youtube is she doing what i think she's doing to the <laughs> oh my gosh what what are we witnessing what are we witnessing i'm just as disturbed as this guy and by the way this is the most normal looking person i've ever seen on meat can like ever like that this is about the most normal looking ever like he looks like a regular person. <laughs> this right here, though. Vitti white chocolate mocha, uh, extra hot, please. Uh, new with cream, uh, skin. Oh, 
Please pull forward. I'm always disturbed by these. There's just no, there's just no explanation for this. I, I, what did I just witness? Oh my gosh. Yo, that, I think, I think that's the perfect place to end this off. Um, that was just some random horror. Uh, wow. Those were disturbing. Jesus. I, I might need to go wash my eyes out now. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, bro, please leave a like down below. Um, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and, uh, make sure y'all check out every single video that I upload, bro. I'm gonna be uploading some more. I'm getting into the flow of things. I'm getting into the editing process, you know what I'm saying? Get it better and better. So just, you know, keep, keep trusting your boy. Keep trusting the process, okay? We're gonna be here for a long, long time. Anyways, bro, I love y'all. Stay safe. Follow me on my socials down in the, uh, description below. And until the very next video, I will see y'all when I see y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe. Peace. Go wash your eyes out too, because this is this is just this is just downright disturbing.